What's up, YouTube? Just chilling with my barbarian bros here. Thought I'd go over my Amazon finally. She's not perfect. Still missing a couple really good items. And I think I gave some stuff away on accident. You know how it goes. But uh, this character, Javazan in particular, it has a, a lot of uh, good areas that it can farm. And we're going to go over that a little bit today, but let's start with the stats. Um, <laughs> I need to respec, but <laughs> you only want enough strength and dex for your gear. Um, max vitality, nothing in energy. Obviously, I, I don't know why I have that much strength. I have, I don't think I've ever respec this. She's level 90. I don't even think any of this gear requires that much strength, but here I am. So... Yep, there's the, you know, max Vita setup, pretty typical. Um, as far as gear, I don't have an ethereal titans, but titans revenge is what I like to use. Um, the main thing is uh, the plus the skills and really the, the replenish quantity. I, I never have to repair them, no matter how much I'm playing. I mean, I guess if you're like really, really, really throwing some jabs, then uh, you might have to repair them once in a while. I don't think I've ever had to repair them. Um, for the helmet, I got a, a faceted griffin's eye, you know, negative lightning resistance on enemies and plus lightning skill damage for you. And it's got one to skills, faster cast rate. It's the go-to for your Jabazon. Uh, Mara's for resistances, <laughs> which mine are pretty laughable right now. But I found that I, I don't really like need the resistances like crazy. Um, pretty, pretty good survivability the way I am. I don't really, you know, I'm not letting monsters get too close to me. They're all dying so quick it doesn't even matter. Um, shield, <laughs> this is kind of my little style point shield. It's a four lightning faceted monarch, and just look at those stats. More negative en <laughs> more negative enemy resistance, and more lightning skill damage. Um, right now I'm using Enigma. A Chains of Honor would probably be ideal. Uh, I think Chains of Honor has has some uh, resistance on it. That's probably why my resistance is so low. I ended up putting a Chains of Honor on one of my new sorceresses. And uh, I just haven't got another one. Um, the Enigma is good though. I, I, it's so much easier to teleport versus running everywhere. Um, so that helps out a lot. Uh, sandstorm track boots, uh, faster run walk, some strength and vitality, yada yada. Pretty, uh, pretty typical. Uh, Stone of Jordan and a Raven Frost for cannot be frozen, because who likes being frozen? I could have put a cham in my Griffin's eye, but when I was making this character, I was really just like, I want to put as many facets and stuff as I want. And, uh, and you really don't need the extra skill that Stone of Jordan's going to give you. Although the increased max mana would be nice because this character burns through mana. Um, T Gods, pretty self explanatory. And a three skiller 20 increased attack speed pair of gloves. Those are pretty awesome, kind of hard to find. Um, just assorted skill grand charms and some run walk and resistance small charms that I just I, you find them all the time and I'm just using what I got uh, kind of crappy annihilus you know torch blah 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 on switch got a CTA and a spirit so if I really wanted to like like I could put the spirit on my main but I'm all right with the uh, fasted and monarch right now. I should just make another spirit. They're cheap. Why not, you know? But that's pretty much it for the skills and um, gear. Now let's go over some great places to basically magic find, run, looking for runes, you know, rune, rune farming, whatever you want to do. Um, get out of here, Deckard. So... This is one of the very few characters that can just absolutely wreck, um, what's his name, Pendleskin down here. 
And you gotta be careful, man, because this, this place is rough. They'll, they'll eat you up in here. But a couple jabs. He's dead. He's dropping. I think he drops everything. He drops almost everything in the game besides, I think, Tyrael's. Uh, Tyrael's might. Arachnid's mesh and maybe one or two other things, but... I mean, look at that. That took two seconds and he was dead. And I'll just, I'll show you a couple different ways you can kind of, that's not a bad belt. You can kind of farm Pendle. So let's go ahead and get another game. Really an item find Barb is probably the best because you can kill him and then you can item find him again. He always drops two items. He's one of those like super uniques, I think they're called. So this is what I'll do a lot of times. I'll just spawn. Don't even do the CTA buff. Run in here. I like to throw a decoy down there just in case those guys start walking in. Respawn my Valkyrie on Pendle and a couple of jabs and he's dead. And just look, watch my mana as I throw these. And it's gone. So you could go with a... I didn't go over the Merc gear. Look at me. I'm horrible. Let's get out of here before I die. I'll show you what the Merc's got. You know, you probably already know. And Ariel's Visage, Fortitude, and Infinity. Now, I've been thinking about making an insight or getting an insight and sometimes using it. But I do love the Conviction Aura that this gives you. And negative 45% enemy lightning resistance. We're a lightning build. Why not? Besides that, I don't really know what to do about the mana. Oh, by the way, I do keep my scrolls, my town portals, in my belt. Yeah, you can only carry four, and it takes up a potion slot. But it makes it so I can get a couple extra small charms or whatever in there. Which, uh, do you really need it? I don't know. Depends on your build. I do it, once I get to level 90 with my characters, I usually get rid of my tome and just run them in my belt. Um, another nice thing is I can just hit two now and pop up a town portal instead of, you know, coming into my inventory and right clicking on something and missing it and, you know, just saving a little time here and there. Uh, let's do, we'll do a couple more and then uh, we'll make a cow game. And uh, <laughs> this, this is one of the fastest cow running characters I, I think you're going to get, dude. Yep. Like I said, not even CTA buffing for Pendle here. I prefer to throw my decoy down right there at the door, throw the Valkyrie down on Pendle, and two or three jabs, and stuff is dead. That's a pretty nice belt. Eh, eh, it's not really that nice. I lied. That's a shit belt. Let's go do some cows. And you'll get to see more of uh, the actual playability versus me just running in and killing Pindle, you know. Well, we can do cows right here. Because Pindle, I mean, you can do the run so quick, you will find some items. Oh, yeah. Get out of here. You'll find some items doing Pindle, and it's just quick, it's easy. Uh, <laughs> it's just easy. All right, cows. Let's... When I'm playing by myself, I like to try to find the king so I don't kill him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now for cows, I will I will CTA buff. Oh, don't die. Get that buff. And, I mean, you're just wrecking cows. <clears throat> I'll kind of go over the skills here in a second, but I just want to show you a little gameplay to... Just show you exactly how, ooh, circle it, exactly like how much damage and area damage this, this character can put down. Trash. Alright, alright. Skills real quick. Nothing in bow. Nothing in bow skills. Passive and magic. I put one skill in everything. Dodge, avoid, and evade. Some people, they don't like using those. Um, I like survivability. And I especially need it since my resistances are so low. So just one point in those and one point in everything. And look, I'm at 14, so I don't need to add any more points. Um, Pierce is great because as you're throwing your javelins, 
uh, or your uh, your lightning fury jav javelins. Um, they will actually every time it pierces and hits another target, your uh, your fury will uh, release another forty eight bolts potentially, and uh, that's where you're getting so much damage. Is you hit a stack of cows, it goes through three or four of them, and you're releasing a hundred. 130, 140 uh, bolts, whatever. And it, it's just like the numbers don't look too crazy as far as damage, but it, it's wicked, man. Um, one of the Valkyrie, she's a total tank, a hog of a tank. Between him and uh, your, mer your mercenary, they're just, it, it's tank city out there. Um, for javelins, I put, like I said, I, I need to respec. I think I've got some points and some skills that I don't need the extra points in from, uh, you know, when I was starting this character in normal mode. But one into jab, nothing into impale, nothing into fend. Maxed power strike, maxed charge strike, maxed lightning strike, maxed lightning fury. Um, one point into poison javelin, one point into plague javelin, and I'm trying to get the lightning bolt maxed just to have all the synergies for my lightning fury. Because if you look, power strike, charge strike, lightning strike, lightning fury, lightning bolt, they, they're all synergies to each other. And it's literally impossible to max five skills out. That's 100 points, so you can only be level 99. And plus we want, you know, our passive and magic skills. So I need to respect and get some more points in the lightning bolt. That'll just pump my numbers up a little bit. But honestly, you do pretty good the way it is. If I'm being, if I'm being for real. Um, when I'm doing single targets like Diablo, I will use the charge strike, which is just a, just a jab attack. But it does some serious damage. It does more damage on a single target than um, uh, your Lightning Fury, that thing. But I, it also does a lot of damage on groups because it releases all these bolts out the back of your target. And each one of those is doing 10k. But you're also up in their faces and like, you know, you, you might get hit. So it's just easy to just throw these lightning furies and I mean look at this they're just wasted let me try and get a big uh, big group here so I can kind of show you how that pierce works is if you watch you'll see it go through the first target release all its bolts and then it'll go into the second target and release even more bolts Let's see here I don't know if you're seeing that but Yep, there it went through him, and then it released all the bolts, then it hit him, and it released another set of bolts. So, I mean, you're potentially releasing a couple hundred bolts if you get it to pass through four or five targets. And the area damage is nuts, dude. Nuts. Getting all these scattered packs, man. I don't know why. Now, yeah, it, it can suck when you're dealing with lightning resistances. Um, one thing you can do is you can uh, bring up, what is it, the jab. It does 1,200 damage, but you, you, multiple hits. It hits them a bunch of times. It's, it's not bad. I mean, between your mercenary and your Valkyrie, you're not going to... You're not going to struggle too much with the immunes. Watch me kill the king on accident. Champion pack, nice. And I'm just eating through my mana. That's the way she goes. Alright, let's crank it up. We got some cows to kill. Yeah, that boss. You get a boss like that, just run up there and hit him with the, uh, the charge strike. I'm always picking up super mana pots anytime I see him. When I'm playing this character, she just, she's hungry. Like I said, that could be fixed with an insight, but then you're going to lose all those Conviction Aura benefits and Lightning 
enemy lightning resistance benefits on the affinity. Oh, there's the cow king. And yeah, we'll call her a day. You see how easy it is to do cows. Let's go let's go try and do a chaos run. I know there's some lightning immunes in there, but Yeah, we'll figure it out. Quick chaos run and then we'll call her a day. This was probably back in the day, this was the third character that I really got into after the necromancer and assassin. And oh, I just had a blast with her. So much fun, and it's so satisfying seeing all the lightning bolts fly around. I love it. It's cool. Yeah, I'm getting hit with some elements. And my buff wore off. Buff, buff. Let's go. Let's just get up in here and do this. Try not to die. If I die, y'all can laugh at me. I don't care. It happens. I mean, even you, the the Stormcaster guys, your infinity is going to break their immunity as long as your mercenary isn't, like, lollygagging somewhere too far away. So you see, as soon as they get the infinity on them, or the conviction aura on them, they're dropping. And just look at that. Clear speed, man. Clear speed is nuts. Dropping like flies. These Venom Lords don't stand a chance. Where's my Merc? Another nice thing about using a Enigma versus Chains of Honor is you can reposition your Merc if he's like off in the distance, dicking around. You can get him over by you. <laughs> Cast rate is not something you're worried about this one. <laughs> but let me just tell you, mine is slow. Like If you want to bump it up, you can, but you're going to be sacrificing... Um, you're going to be sacrificing elsewhere where you could be having some good perks. You don't need the cast rate, really. If I had a, if I had my spirit on my main, it would do a little bit better, but I ain't even worried about it. This, uh, <laughs> the style points monarch I have, I love running it. It's pretty cool. So as you can see, I'm not really having... Too many difficulties here. Oh, he's a lightning immune, but my Merc and Valkyrie will get him. Not too bad. Let's see what we got with this circlet. Uh, yep. Yeah. Sometimes you get a good one, sometimes you don't. That's the way she goes. Alright. Get this uh, last seal. Last set of seals over here. Like I said, you could use the Chains of Honor. It would help you out a lot. It's going to bump your resistances. I think Chains of Honor has what? Like it has a bunch of resistances on it. What is that? Man, I haven't seen that item in a while. All right, let's get over to Diablo. Now, I'm not going to use Lightning Fury on Diablo, single target. I am going to use my Charge Strike, my little jab. <laughs> you have one hit him, dude. <laughs> it's wild. You have so much negative enemy resistance between... Your infinity with the negative 45% enemy lightning resistance. My faceted griffin's eye and my quad faceted monarch, dude. The enemy, the resistance is, they're like negative 100, probably. I don't know. That's just a guess. But there's the Jabazon. She's fun. She likes to drink her mana pots. And you can go a few different ways. You you don't you could go with the chains of honor. You could put a spirit instead of the monarch because I know it takes a while. Finding four facets that are perfect lightning facets is, takes a little while. But there she is. Hope you guys enjoyed, and um, hopefully I'll be. Uh, I should be getting a. And I don't know if you know, but I I make these videos with my phone, <laughs> recording with my phone right now. But um, I got a Streamlabs downloaded, and I'm just, it's confusing as hell to me. But hopefully, like, next week or something, I can link up with my buddy who does some streaming, and um, he can kind of show me the ropes and stuff. But uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.